Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2017 Dodge Challenger slash Charger. And I say both of them because they have the same dash setup and this upgrade will work in both of them. You'll notice here this is the RA2 factory base radio. This looks very familiar to a lot of you. What we're going to do today is we're going to remove this radio and we're going to upgrade to the premium 8.4 inch radio, uh, which is the UAS or UAQ sales code. Um, very easily. Now, in order to do it, uh, you just need a dash uh, pry tool, or you could even use a flathead screwdriver, um, and then a Phillips head screwdriver. So the first thing we want to do is make sure the vehicle is off, um, disconnect the negative battery terminal. Okay, the first thing we're going to use is our dash pry tool. We're gonna get into any, on the outside of this bezel here, anywhere on the outside, we're gonna to wanna to get into it and then pop it out. It's just held in with retaining clips. So once you get a corner, you can slowly pop it around. What you wanna to do too is lower your steering column here to the lowest setting. And then we can remove our bezel. That'll give you access to the four Phillips head screws that hold in the radio. Behind the radio, now you're just gonna lift up on this lever here. You push it in and lift it up and it'll pop right out. Then you're gonna remove your remote USB connector, AM, FM antenna, and satellite radio. Now we're going to install the UAS. This is the non-navigation 8.4 inch screen. It does have built-in CarPlay and Android Auto. Plug the exact same connectors into the back of this radio. We can now use the same four screws to tighten this into the dash. We could then put the bezel back into place. Once it's nice and snug, just push it in and the clips will hold it. We can then reattach our negative battery terminal and power it up. You notice it boots up with the Chrysler logo. That's the default logo for this system. You're gonna need to put the vehicle to sleep a few times in order for it to um, configure to the vehicle's BCM computer. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and type in the anti-theft code that was provided. The radio will enable, but at this point, what we're gonna wanna do is shut the car off, remove the key from the vehicle, lock the doors, let the vehicle sleep for about three, four, or five minutes, get back into the vehicle, try again. You're gonna wait until the Dodge logo shows up. So if the, if the Chrysler logo shows up again, you're gonna to wanna to turn the car off, let it sleep again um, until it learns the BCM. We pre-program it to learn all that data from the BCM computer. Okay, this vehicle has been slept twice. We're gonna start it up here for the third time. You'll notice it powers right up. Now you'll notice you got your AM, FM, Then you now have Sirius XM on the nice big eight inch screen. If you select the media icon, it'll show your USB, Bluetooth streaming audio, aux, SD. Your climate is now controllable through not only the screen, but also the um, lower control panel down here. You have your Uconnect apps feature. Your phone, you could pair your phone by just selecting yes here. Compass, if available, and your settings menu, which you can alter the settings of the vehicle. One of the real cool things about this particular uh, upgrade is the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay features, which I'll demonstrate the CarPlay feature. You simply plug your USB cable into the hub in your armrest, and then plug it into your phone. You notice the CarPlay icon shows up. That gives you access to your um, uh, specified apps from Apple, Pandora, Spotify, um, your messages. You're gonna use this as your home key. I'll demonstrate the maps. You now have maps on your, your screen here. And you can do everything, you know, your destination, input, point of interest, whatever you want through this system here messages um, all sorts of different kind of cool stuff you can listen to music that's on your phone obviously make phone calls uh, podcasts audiobooks Pandora and Spotify are our great apps here as long as you have them installed on your phone they will appear here you can listen to playlists that you have potentially on your Spotify account or Pandora the radio feature and whatnot. But this is a really slick um, system here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to disconnect this UAS system and I'm going to install the UAQ and show you some of the features of the uh, factory navigation. All right, I went ahead and removed the UAS system and I installed the factory UAQ, which again has built-in navigation. Um, so what we'll do now is fire it back up. So you notice the same kind of features here, AM, FM, as I demonstrated earlier. Both of them do have the HD radio feature, which I didn't mention before. Sirius XM, just like the other. Radio media, climate, your apps feature. Now these are drag and drop apps as well, so if you wanted to drag it down and uh, replace it with something, you know, let's just say you want to take your controls and go over climate for some reason, you can do that uh, and it would show up. The big uh, selling feature with the UAQ obviously is your navigation. So you have your full fledged factory navigation. You won't need your phone or anything. This is all preloaded onto the system, uh, which is very convenient. Um, it has all the, the uh, stuff a traditional nav has, your points of interest, your address. It's a really slick system. Um, you notice it, it pinpointed our location immediately. And then you can also get into the settings menu where you can set um, to your preference. You have your phone feature, which again, you can pair by just selecting yes. 
in your settings menu. This does also feature Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it's the same concept. Just plug it into your USB. You'll notice the CarPlay icon will show up. And then again, you have all the same features here with the UAQ. So the UAS is your, um, your uh, definitely a step up from the RA2 small screen. Uh, that UAS system does have CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, and then obviously your UAQ has the premium navigation here built in um, along with CarPlay and Android Auto. We have a lot of different upgrades here at infotainment.com such as backup cameras, plug and play backup cameras. Um, we have um, the OBD Genie performance page um, programmer. You plug it into your OBD2 port, you'll have a performance page icon that'll show up and it'll give you timers and um, it'll show you your G-forces and all that cool stuff uh, for your Charger or Challenger, which is a really slick upgrade. Um, front camera, side cameras. Um, if your card does not have Sirius satellite radio, that is something we can help you add. So come check us out, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching, guys.